Simple BEV, what really matters for a multi-sensor bird's eye view perception. To perform driving related tasks, autonomous vehicles need at least a bird's eye view representation of the 3D space surrounding the vehicle. The challenge is to acquire this representation from sensors mounted on the vehicle itself, which typically includes radars, cameras, and sometimes a LiDAR unit. Considering the cost of high-density LiDAR compared to other sensors, there is great interest in building perception systems that do not use LiDAR. Recent research has developed a variety of camera-only methods, where the focus has been on innovating new techniques for lifting features from the 2D image planes onto the BEV plane. This effort has produced a variety of novel lifting methods using MLPs, depth estimation, ray attention, and deformable attention. We have seen accuracy rise very quickly. Vehicle segmentation IOU has gone up 14 points in just two years. But we observe that other details have shifted at the same time, making it unclear what really matters in top performing methods. In this work, we first try to clarify the high impact factors in the design and training protocol of BEV perception methods. Second, we show that results can be substantially improved by incorporating input from radar, which typically goes unused despite being readily available both in datasets and in the real world. This video provides a quick summary of our main results. We find that in apples to apples comparisons, parameter free lifters are still competitive with learned alternatives, and the gap between the best and worst is only about six points. We find a much more powerful effect from tuning batch size. Training with larger batches reliably increases performance. Input resolution also has a big effect, with higher resolutions generally being better. As one might expect, deeper backbones perform better than shallow ones. Augmentations help as well, but to a lesser extent than other factors. Turning our attention to radar, we note that prior work has reported the radar data in new scenes to be too sparse and too noisy to be useful. Visualizing the data, we can see that it is indeed much sparser than LiDAR, but it gives some hints about the metric scene structure, which we hypothesize to be useful. We implement a simple fusion strategy paired with parameter-free lifting and obtain an 8-point improvement over our camera-only model. For reference, we also compute results using LiDAR and find that this is 8 points further ahead. Using all three sensors gives another point boost. Overall, our reading is, the more metric information we have, the better. To maximize the benefits of radar, we found that it helps to use all additional metadata associated with each return. It also helps to avoid outlier filtering, so as to get denser data despite the extra noise. And finally, it helps to aggregate the data across multiple sweeps, again increasing the density. Our camera-only method with parameter-free lifting outperforms existing work, which demonstrates the strength of our training setup. Our radar model is a wide margin above the rest, which demonstrates the importance of incorporating metric information where available. As we incorporate more sensor data, we do better. In the context of related work, our results suggest that getting certain implementation details right currently outweighs the contributions provided by the sophisticated lifting strategies pursued in other methods. And furthermore, our results demonstrate that radar, although sparse and noisy, provides a substantial boost to performance, helping to bridge the gap between camera-only and LiDAR-enabled systems. We provide additional qualitative results at our project website. We encourage you to try our code and models, which are publicly available on GitHub.